I'm Steve Guggenheim, and this is Traveling with Googs. There are many ways to travel, but how you go boils down to three basics. Planning everything on your own, having it all planned out for an escorted trip, or a combination of the two where parts of the trip are arranged. I've done all three, and they all have their pluses and minuses. My travels have taken me through six continents and much of the United States. I've yet to visit Antarctica. I've been to South Africa, Argentina, Chile, Australia, New Zealand, England, France, Italy, as well as Canada, Mexico, the Caribbean, and many others. Each year I add more places. I love traveling. On your own is generally the least expensive option, but you have to realize things may not go smoothly all the time. But it can lead to unforgettable experiences. One afternoon, we needed to find a hotel in Germany. It was late afternoon, and we got off the highway where we found a room at this older hotel. We got into the elevator, and when we got to our floor, it opened to unveil the largest hallway I've ever seen. You probably could have driven a tank through it. The paneling was very dark, and the room spartan. For a blanket, we had this incredibly thin comforter. To this day, I wish I could have taken it. While light to the touch, it kept my wife and I quite toasty. I was driving on a French highway and needed gas. The attendant was quite persistent in trying to sell me windshield wipers, despite the fact it was a rental and fairly new at that. Then he told me to move the car forward when the tank was full. Instead, I got out and looked at the price. He tried adding several zeros to my bill and acted like I didn't know what I was talking about when I complained. It got quite heated. That is, until I threatened to go to the manager. No, that wasn't fun. And on an organized trip, this certainly would not have happened. But it's a story I would never have otherwise. In France's Burgundy wine region, we drove through vineyards. I discovered a vintner who didn't speak a word of English, but took us to the cellar and gave us glasses of wine, some of the best I've ever had, right from the barrel. Experiences like this only come along when you're on your own. We spent four weeks traveling through Australia and New Zealand, crisscrossing Australia with half a dozen plane flights, then driving up both the South and North Islands of New Zealand. It was fully escorted, and I can't imagine doing everything we did on our own. The hotel, air, and tour arrangements must have taken an army to arrange. I wanted to drive Italy's Amalfi Coast, but was talked out of it because of the insanely narrow, curvy roads. Thank goodness we took an escorted trip because I never would have been able to enjoy the white-knuckle drive. Not only that, we were taken to places I didn't even know existed. We had a five-course lunch at a winery at the foot of Mount Vesuvius. We also visited a mozzarella factory. What? Really? Who cares? They play Beethoven and Mozart to the water buffaloes because it soothes them. When the animals need a massage, they go over to these large cylinders, which go forward and backward against their bodies to soothe them. If the weather is hot, the animals walk over to a nice misting shower facility. When it's time to be milked, they mosey over to self-milking machines. What a life. As they say, a happy water buffalo creates more and better cheese. This turned out to be one of the most unexpected fun things I've ever seen. I think I want to come back as a water buffalo. This is what you get while traveling, unforgettable experiences and memories that last a lifetime. In Africa, our flight and hotels were arranged. But we were on our own after that. We had time to explore at our own pace and rearrange our activities depending on the weather. One restaurant we found by the waterfront had an exquisite wine list. But the highlight was ostrich, which has now turned into my favorite entree. It is very tasty and sweet, with none of the bloated feelings some people get from eating meat. Later in the trip, we ended up having ostrich pizza, which was heavenly. If you're traveling on your own, the first thing you should do when going to a new city is to take a city tour. You get the layout of the land and learn its history. Some have hop-on, hop-off buses. I like taking the trip without getting off, then taking it a second time to explore the more interesting areas. I'm Steve Guggenheim, and this is Traveling with Goose.